Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now it's getting in that season where everyone's flaunting their beach summer bodies and I'm over here trying to lose my weight that I gained during COVID. But anyway, this video is me switching out bags and going into a new one because that's everyone's favorite thing to watch. So the bag I'm currently carrying is the Louis Vuitton Papillon. I don't know, it, is this small? I, I'm very confused with the Papillon. I think this is a small, who knows? Anyway, so I'm currently using this bag and I'm switching into this bag. So this is my Louis Vuitton or the Louis Vuitton Speedy Cube. This is from 2013, 2013, 2003, when Marc Jacobs collaborated with Louis Vuitton. There was this whole collection. That's when the funky bags are coming out. Um, great bag. Oh my God. So it is cute, it is checkered, and it is small. Um, the color is off-white, as you can see, where in some lights it's white, some lights it's not. Um, and the fabric on it is natural leather, and this part is velour. So this is pretty easy to clean. All I do is I take a lint brush and I just go over the checkered pieces and it pretty much gets out all the lint on it. So yeah, let's see here. So there is some wear on the sides. You can probably see it. The hardware. It's like never been used, so I'm perfectly happy with it. I got this a year and a half ago, and it was between this one and a gray one that they had on Fashion File. So I just picked this one up. This was extremely, extremely cheap to be honest with you. Uh, let's see here. So there is the tag on it. So I was right. It is from the collection in 2013 and this bag is made in France. Uh, let's go over everything else. So, this doesn't bother me. I could care less. I just like it how it is. It's the inside of the bag. Who's going to take your bag and go like, oh my god, what's that? Uh, pretty much no one. Let's see if I can show it. Okay, so you see where the zipper is? if it would just love to focus today. Okay, so you see that? That's glue. And I guess there were issues with glue. Um, not really that much of a big deal. I'm not a picky person. So I just go about my life like it's not there and <laughs> I live life happy. Alrighty, Roo. So I took everything out. This is inside of the Papillon. Perfectly in amazing condition. Here's the bottom. 
this is such, ow, a great bag. Okay, goodbye to you. So I'm gonna show you what I put in it. So this is a face mask. It's Stevie Nicks, it says stand back. How relatable. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. This is the large size of the YSL Opium. This is my favorite scent. Oh my god. It, it's like a very specific scent where it just takes you back to like a memory and you're like, oh my god. I totally forgot about it. Like, it is so specific that it reminds you of something. So, yeah. Uh, here we go. This is a Coach Medicine Pouch. I mean, then again, it's Coach, so it does the job. This is what the inside looks like. So with me, I carry perfume samples that I like. And if I'm out going somewhere and I want to buy perfume, I have perfume... Perfume perfume samples that I love. This one is Michael Kors Wonderlust. I have this perfume already. This is Dior Joy. Fantastic scent. Okay, so this Kate Spade perfume that I have, it is called Walking on Air. Here you go, that's what it looks like, it's made New York. I have this perfume, I think I wore it three times. When you spray it on, it's a fantastic scent, gorgeous scent, but it doesn't stay on the skin that long, and it's like you didn't put anything on, I mean... It's a confusing scent. So, okay, so this. So when my partner and I first started dating, I came out to Massachusetts to visit. And um, he just bought me perfume, a lot of perfume. And this is one of it. This is Michael Kors Eau de Parfum. So this is what the bottle looks like. So what's cool about this is this, hello, this um, sample is actually what the actual bottle looks like. And it's a fantastic scent. It's gardenia with something else in it. My eyesight can't work that well, so I'm going to put that to the side. This is Michael Kors Sexy Amber. This is what the bottle looks like. Ooh. Oh yeah. Alright, so I'm going to put everything back in. Um... I should actually fill it with new perfume I want to look at next time I go out. Uh, Gate Spade, that can go there because I don't like it. So yeah, and it's so cute and compact that, I mean, then again, it, you get the Coach logo. Um, not a big fan of Coach, but I mean, if that's your thing, then do you. This is my Eddie Bauer multi-tool kit. Um, last time I showed this, I cut myself and I don't feel like doing that again. So, um, I'm just going to put it in the bag. Cute little keychain like that. That goes in. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, I always carry my partner's real estate cards. 
He's a real estate agent. So whenever I'm out and he needs some, I just go in my pack and hand him out wherever I go. So that's cool. Um, that fits in there. Um, I have my vaccination card thing. I got a protective cover for it, but it was too small, which I don't know how, because it's really not that big. Um, so I put it in this, but because the bag is so much smaller, it literally takes up like half the bag so that is extremely not useful so that goes like that um let's see what else that's pretty much it what i carry on a daily basis um so yeah let's show you what the inside of the bag looks like so, of course, there's all that in there. What the hell is TJ Maxx? Is this a gift card? I don't know. Oh, it is a gift card. That's weird. It doesn't look like a gift card. Huh. Anywho, that's pretty much it. And of course, in all my bags, I keep silica packets that just keeps moisture out and all that. Fun stuff to do with handbags. So, since it is a Speedy, I am going to go ahead and grab my other Speedy and just show you the size difference. Okay. That took longer than expected. So here's my Speedy. Uh, is it a 30? I think it's a 30. It's in the Damier the Bean print. There should be some. Anyway, I'm looking for the size. I can't find it, but it's this one. I had this for over three years. There is no issues with it. I mean, then again, I do need to clean it because it is kind of dirty. So there's the bottom. Um, is it full? Oh, there's the seats. Um, this came with the bag when I bought it off Trade Z. So it has a smorgo organizer. Yeah, it does what it's supposed to do, organize my bag for me. So let's go and compare these babies. So here is the side view. So as you can see, this one is a lot smaller than this one. this way with it, and that, so when this bag came out, it, don't quote me on it, I think it was over 3,000, not sure, um, but yeah, this is such a cute little speedy. Um, it doesn't come with a strap. You get a clochette with two keys on it. And of course, as always, it goes with the corresponding lock. Um, there is a place on here, see it right here, where you can attach the lock. That is what it looks like. There is some hairline scratches on it, but then again, I don't want to be splitting hairs at that point. 
So, I go like this. I keep the lock on one, uh, one side of the bag, just because that's mean, that's what I do. And then you get the little LV. Let's show the bottom. You get Louis Vuitton engraved on it. But yeah, that is pretty much the entire bag. But I mean, this is such a great bag. I love it. I got this before it became popular. And then all of a sudden everyone and their mother started getting it, so I'm going to hold on to this for quite a long time. I have no plans on selling it. It is such great condition for how old this bag is. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's basically what I wanted to show you. It was very quick. But again, if you guys want to see other bags let me know down in the comments. Um, if you have any more questions about this bag, um, I will do my research, collect a lot of information, and uh, do another video on it, if that's what you want to say. But anyway, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. As always, thank you for all the love and support, and I will see everyone in my next video. Bye!